So this here is going to be a video on how to magnetize up our rhino or our predator. So uh, what we have here is a predator that we've fully done. It's all assembled. We'll take it apart and we'll show you how we magnetized it. We'll put some photos at the end of all the different orientations. And um, so feel free to skip ahead there and then you can kind of see some of the different ways you can build it and some of the neat things you can add to it. Uh, aside from that, stay tuned and we will uh, see you in a few minutes. So what we've got here is just your base rhino. Uh, the door opens and closes. We just finished painting it up and uh, we didn't do a painting video for it just because it's a pretty standard thing to paint. Get a little bit of the computers inside and otherwise not, it's here. So what we've done is we've magnetized a few key places and what we've used are a six millimeter magnet and a three millimeter magnet. So as you can see, one's about half the size of the other. And with those two types of magnets, that's pretty much all we used for the entire model. We've got the six millimeter magnets. You can see one right here in the doorway, one on the other side as well. So what those magnets are for, they match up with uh, the doors where you'll see a magnet there and a magnet here. And even though they don't touch, the proximity is enough to hold them in place. So there's your rhino door, easily removable because of the magnet that's inside. Just like so. And we did the same thing with the other one. Just like so. So those are easily removable. They're held on by those two magnets being close proximity to each other. But we use the six millimeter magnet so that it would also hold the weight of the sponson. So same thing there, we put a six millimeter magnet there, made sure the polarity matched, and that clips right in place there like so. So that gets you your sponson. in. We'll do the one on the other side just to make them look even. Just like that, and you've got your two sponsons for your predator. We also put the six millimeter magnets on the other side of the sponsons and we put them on both of the spawns and weapons. So you've got one on the top of the last cannon and one on the top of the heavy bolter. And so they're easily swappable and they spin. So last cannon. And heavy bolter like so. So that gives you full versatility in what you want to do there um, as far as uh, side weapons. So one of the other things we did is as we were building the model, we used a bunch of sprues to make a solid wall. And then we drilled in um, two holes. And that's what we put the um, three millimeter magnets in. We also mounted them on the inside surface of all of these cap covers. And then all they do is once again, because of close proximity, they snap right in place like so. And you have your tank covers, but they can also be removed. And you can mount the pin tile weapons, uh, which has a six millimeter magnet in it, just because we wanted it strong enough because they're not close by each other. So you can put something just like that and then that gives you your pin tile weapon mounting. And then from there, we didn't paint them up yet, but the pin tile weapons are here. So we've got the bolter, followed by the second half of the bolter, and then the flamer to make the combi bolter. And all we did was mount the three millimeter magnets on the inside of each one, reverse the polarity with the piece on the front, and that gives you your compi bolter here, or vice versa. It gives you your flamer as well. So you can run that the way you like, and you can swap them up as needed, or don't run them at all, and replace it with a cap. So one of the other things we did off the beginning, when we were building the Rhino, is 
we've magnetized the inside. This piece is all one piece when you build it, the, the bottom tray that loops up to here. Before we glued that to the front hood, we dropped two six millimeter magnets on the other side of that thin plastic piece. One there, and one there. And what that lets us do is it let us magnetize the hood scoop so it can clip on place and you can use those as needed. It let us do something else and it let us build interesting things like this half of the corpse cart and what you can do with that we built that so it's got the same magnets the angles are the same and we can drop that right on the front like so for an extra cool. filled design um, in case in this case a chaos rhino or a chaos predator or a chaos razorback it just adds to the to the appearance so you can do that one and I'll pay, post a link on how we made it we do have that video on the channel um, or you can just go with generic scoop or you can just remove them all together um, depending on sometimes the scoop will let you put you in range of things uh, and you may not want it for a particular game if you're using this as say a whirlwind and you want to keep them way way back finally we do the top and the top we haven't magnetized we do have the two general choices but because they're so form fitted uh, we can use either or and they fit snugly right inside So there's our Rhino doors, the top surface ones, back surface ones, but they're fairly boring. And then the center turret, or if you want to reverse it, a rear turret. The rear turret is great for things like rocket launchers, in case you want to have a whirlwind like so and this piece is not magnetized it just sits comfortably right in that ring and you can turn it as you want to and it makes it easy to transport so to do the predator you need this last piece up here which is the top mounted turret here what we did is when we assembled it the guns all had a little spike sticking out and it would fit into a slot on either side all we did was cut the uh, spikes off drill into it drop that three millimeter magnet in and on here fill the spots where the where the um, tab inserted and put the three millimeter magnet in there and then this Slides comfortably in there. We buffed it with a little bit of, of plaster or green stuff or something to stop it from falling completely down. And that is your last cannon. Um, predator mount. With your last cannon predator mount like so now vice versa you can just remove that replace it with the auto cannon replace them with the bolters and you have a much cheaper model that's great for anti-infantry just like so and you can go one step further adding the um, top piece and as you can see there's one more six millimeter magnet embedded in the center of that which matches the one on the bottom of the havoc launcher which gets you the full tower in all of its glory full swivel full magnet doors open and close you can add pin tile weapons if you want Everything is here, 
and it's all of these parts. Ready for the table. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it a little bit helpful. Like I said, with just a six millimeter and a three millimeter magnets setup, both of which you can buy in, in stacks of 100, you can fully magnetize your Predator into a Rhino, Razorback, the whole deal. And you can get everything you want um, easily swappable. So if you like this video and you found it helpful, please feel free to leave a like or a comment on the channel. Uh, feel free to subscribe. And otherwise than that, we'll see you in our next painting video uh, or kit bash video or modeling video or whatever we tend to do. Um, I'll put a link to the corpse cart um, sort of corpse scoop that we use in the front here. And aside from that, we will see you um, at our next video. Thanks for watching this long and you guys have a pleasant evening.